Not only can words be split into syllables, but those syllables have different strengths which vary from word to word. Let's take the word chapel again. The vowel in the first syllable sounds much clearer than the vowel in the second syllable. The letter A in cha is making its most common sound, a, as in cat. Whereas the letter E in pull isn't making any of the common sounds we expect for the letter E. That is the E of get or the E of me. Rather, E is making a quiet, neutral sound, a, uh, cha, pull. We're making an U uh sound there, very short, very fast. This sound is called the schwa. Everyone's version of the schwa is slightly different, since all accents are slightly different. Also, the schwa sound varies from word to word. Therefore, there's no letter in the alphabet which corresponds to this sound. The schwa sound appears in chapel because the first syllable is strong and the second syllable is weak. We need strong and weak syllables in words, otherwise our speech would be monotonous, unexpressive, and would require unnecessary effort. Vowels in weak syllables are usually a schwa sound, but not always. We will come to the identification of schwa in the next chapter. If you like, you can test all of this yourself until you get most of it right. A good dictionary will indicate strong syllables in its pronunciation guide. Practice with your students identifying strong and weak syllables in words. You have a multi-syllable word list in the back of the book to help you with that. When you can confidently identify strong and weak syllables in words of up to five syllables, you're ready to teach this lesson. This is quite tricky and many people have problems with this, but given enough practice and taught systematically, it can be mastered relatively easily.